I got the old caffeine because that is a definite must in my mornings. We are getting ready to start our day. We're gonna be bringing you a little bit different vlog today. Uh, it's gonna be a day in the life. You guys have asked for this for quite a while, a day in the life, kind of showing a little bit more detail than what we're doing. And I'm excited to share with you guys. Get this on board. Generally, after everyone's kind of gotten up, gotten moving, or moving in a direction, we'll come in and I will see what I need to do for the day. I will kind of write myself out a to-do of what I need to accomplish for the day. I will also kind of go over my calendar um, and make sure if I have anything, that, anything that's coming up that I need to make sure that is on my calendar, any kids events, any parties, any anything. Just do a double check because sometimes slips the old mind, right? If I don't write it down, it goes away. Primarily what I work on in the mornings is I will get in here, answer some emails, um, get a line out for the day of things that I wanna accomplish. Either I'll do it the morning of or the day before. I really strive to do it the night before, but sometimes that doesn't work out. So if I can get it done in the morning and I have a little bit more, this is what I need to get done, I at least have that, but I do like to try to get it done the night before. So a lot of my life actually consists of homeschooling, which you see little snippets here and there on the vlog, but never really like what we do, how we structure it, how we um, fit it all into our day. So we're gonna show you that just a little bit. So I'm super excited. Um, I'm gonna actually send you over to Bert. He's working in the office for business owners. And so we work primarily out of our home. So it's a little bit different dynamic than some. He's gonna kind of maybe share a little bit about what he does, take on the whole homeschool life, a dad that's a homeschool parent, all the things. So anyway, let's send you off to him, seeing how he's doing this morning. I caught him for a little bit. It was like a quick out the door. There he goes, bye babe, I'll see you in a little bit. It's cool though, because we're able to see each other a lot more maybe than most because I could just like walk over there. Anyway. All right, let's send you off to Bert. Hello, happy peoples. Hope you guys are doing great. Working hard here, grinding it out. Uh, I guess we're doing something sort of different today, but not really different. It's just maybe things that we don't necessarily um, always show you is, or I guess we're kind of going through a little bit of our routine, my wife was talking about. So we don't even always show you guys everything that we do, the things that we do regularly, just because, uh, to be honest, we don't really want to bore you. I have this little uh, custom office trailer um, that we built, gosh, almost 10 years ago. Where I work, even before all the crazy stuff with the whole like working remote, uh, I wanted to be able to, to work in a place that was close to my family and that I could you know, go see them. The reason I'm able to do this is we own our own company, we own our own business. We're very entrepreneurial, we're very busy, uh, we have a lot of business stuff going on all the time. Kind of takes up a large portion of our day. Also the kids' school takes up a large portion of our day. We homeschool. And uh, maybe some of you guys don't know this or not, but my wife and I actually were homeschooled growing up. We use the same curriculum that our kids are using. Of course, it's been updated and such, but uh, we used a Becca growing up. A lot of our day is pretty much consisted of, of work, of school, spending time as a family. Uh, usually at the end of the day, we're always coming together to make a meal uh, or we're eating together. It's kind of the general flow, I would say, of what we do. And then like normally I'd actually need to go out uh, to go make some errands. I've usually got work errands to do. My wife usually does too, especially with the Alaskan Apparel Shop. So that's all going on. So this is one question that we've gotten quite a bit and that's like, why do you homeschool? And I think my wife was gonna go into a little bit more of the details of it. But uh, long story short, uh, we homeschool. Probably one of the bigger reasons is so I know what the kids are getting taught. Um, it's not that there's necessarily bad schools here. I, to be honest, I really don't know. I just know that I was homeschooled, my wife was homeschooled, and I want to know what they're being taught. And also, if they're struggling in a subject, we can we have some flexibility where we can more time uh, with a kid on a subject. Or, you know, like Garrett's really good at math. It's like, all right, go ahead, buddy. You know, if you want to go get ahead in your work, go ahead. Or if you want to do uh, you know, advance in a subject and get really good at it. You have the flexibility and the freedom to do these things. No, it just, it seems like our life is just always full throttle. You guys see pieces of it, but it's, woo! Like the day just goes like this, like it's gone, but life is awesome. Life is amazing. Our kids are very special and important to us. 
and uh, trying to just spend as much time with them as we can, try to pass on as much wisdom and knowledge as we can, uh, teaching while we have them here. Kids, our family, are, are the most important thing for us right now, and just spending time with them, investing in them, and letting them know that they matter, they're special. You need to get out and get on some errands here real quick, but I'm gonna go and send you back into the family, see how they're doing. They're probably grinding through some school, and then I think we might actually do something a little bit fun for dinner tonight. So, yeah, we'll do that. All right, send you back into the family. Alrighty, guys. Well, the time has come. The kids are going to be starting up their school for the day. And puppy's whining. Kastner, <laughs> this guy has been a very big distraction. Cause he's so stinking cute. Ah, so precious. Okay, you can be over here with the, you can be over here with the family. Okay, so after I'm kind of done doing my morning routine, layout for the day, answering of the emails, anything business wise, because I am running a couple businesses, so I'm just making sure that everything is squared away. I lay them out as far as their day goes for their subjects that they need to complete. For the most part, they kind of know where they're at and what they need to get done, which is awesome with the Abeka video, which is stinking cool. Abeka has reached out and wanted to partner with us so we could show a little bit more on, a little bit more detailed of what we do for homeschool. Now, you know we're getting ready to kind of finish up the year, um, which we're excited about, right? Woo! We're pretty excited about it. It's starting to get warm out, you know? It's starting to get sunshiny. The Abeka video really makes it super easy to be able to do that, where they kind of already know where they're at. They know where they left off. They're keeping their notes, things like that. Ask the kiddos, what is your favorite subject? History. Didn't even hesitate. History is her favorite. Why is it your favorite? Uh, because I like political stuff, mm. and I've been thinking maybe about studying up on politics and stuff, and maybe someday run for president oh. or government or whatever. Yeah, some type of office. Something. That's awesome. I love it. Yeah. Do you have a favorite teacher? No. What? I love all my teachers. Oh, wow. Okay. I love them. Well, <laughs> Maybe I do. I really like Mr. Busey. Mr. Busey. That's he is the one say. that I love. He <laughs> is my English teacher. He's your English teacher. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. These carts have been stinking awesome. Um, it keeps everything kind of organized. It keeps everything where they need to have everything. So these are all their little DVDs. It's got um, other little supplies, little flashcards, binders, all the things. Um, all of her books, all of her notebooks. And then she just has this little DVD player, all the kiddos. Essentially, all the kiddos have this kind of setup. So, Evelyn, what is your favorite subject? History and science. History because uh, you learn about people from the past, people that are important and did things. Science is like we get to identify things. Sometimes we get to do little projects. Um, and sometimes the teacher does the projects, like experiments. Experiments there. and stuff. Do you have a favorite teacher? Yes. Who is that? Miss Amspaw. Miss Amspaw. She's probably married now. Please. Evelyn pretty much has the same kind of setup. She's got like her books here, um, all of her little DVDs. She's got some supplies in here that she could potentially need, some of her readers. We've really been happy with this cart system. This makes it super convenient because we do have an entire schoolroom that we've kind of like allocated for upstairs, but we all matriculate to our dining room table and we kind of all just do school down here together. And then these just slide and they go into my little hall closet. So it's been a great, great system. Been great. How's it rocking for you? <laughs> Definitely been an adjustment period for Garrett. I would say he's probably the one that's had to adjust the most this go around. We're still working it, right? Yeah. We're getting better. We're getting better. What's your favorite subject, Garrett? Um, probably Bible and math. Bible and math. You have the same teacher. Yes, for all I your have subjects. All of them. So you don't get a choice. No, she, don't get a choice. She's your favorite. What's her name? Mrs. Chapel. Mrs. Chapel, favorite. Right, that's what that's what we kind of do. Um, when we are getting things all situated for the day, I basically line them out, and then they start working on their studies, and I can go clean or start a load of laundry or get other things together. So anyway, just know that we don't really do other like brand posts or anything like that. But Abeka is a company that I've used for 10 plus years. I really, really like it. 
I used it when I was going through homeschool. I too also did the Abeka Video School. I'm super excited to tell you guys that they are offering a discount code. I don't, this could potentially be the only time I've ever seen this. I, I'm not 100% but they gave me a discount code, guys. If you are interested in any of the Abeka material, things like that, you can use the code Jessica and it'll get you 10% off. How cool is that? It'll go all the way through August 31st. So I'll put a link in down in the description. You guys can go check it out. He's thinking awesome. So anyway, we're gonna continue on with the day, do all the things, get our studies done, all the rigmarole. Anyway, let's continue on with the day. All right, just got home from work, wrapped up for the day, and we're gonna start some dinner. I told my wife, don't worry about dinner, because I'm gonna do something fun with the kids, or the kids are gonna do something fun with me, or something, but mom's not making dinner tonight. The kids and I have this, we have a bit of a challenge. Are you, are you up for the challenge? Yes. Do you even know what it is? Yes. What's the challenge? I'm supposed to go shop for dinner and see if we can stay within the budget. Wow, that was really good. That's the challenge. Actually, let's go ahead and take mom's car. I think mom's it's, it's car? warmer, yeah. Right. We'll challenge with the kids. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give them $40. I'm gonna go take them to Safeway at North Pole, and they're gonna try to pick out all the ingredients to make dinner tonight with $40. Is that even possible today? Should be fun. Uh, and they can kind of keep track on like how much is it gonna cost, and right? Because you kind of build a little bit of education in these fun things, right? That's kind of what we tried to do. Like education doesn't always have to be like mundane and boring, it could be fun and like real life. We got dinner, let's go get this going. Whew. I'm hungry, we gotta do this quick guys. Let's get to shopping. If you're shopping? Yes. Audrey always has a quarter, doesn't she? And you don't need two. Oh, it's yellow. I think so. Yeah. Want to get the pasta first? How much does this cost? We come back if we have enough money left. We mm -hmm. could. Let's go. Because that's pretty cheap. So if you can get your whole dinner for less than forty dollars, then whatever's left over, you can get dessert. Maybe yeah. you can get those. That one? Okay, go for it. Pasta, This one's cheaper. You get that one. That what you want? Cheaper one? Yeah. We just need the French bread, salad, and maybe a dessert. Yeah. We have cake, cookies, and here and here. All these prices, the yellow ones here, you gotta find the one that's the least amount of money. Which one's the least amount of money? $3.99. So which one's more? 
counts more. So we gotta find the one that's less money. This one's pretty less. That one, that one might be the cheapest. Oh yeah, it's free. Good job, Gary. I think you're right. That is the cheapest one. Two dollars. That's nice. That's pretty good. We're not even getting twenty dollars in. All we need is French bread, and we might be able to get dessert. Alrighty guys, the day is complete. It was so awesome. I didn't really have to like cook dinner at all. Kids kind of took care of it. How'd it go, babe? At the old I store. Say it was a win. Say it was a win. It was under $40. Kids did good. They were like checking their math and everything. So you'll see. That's awesome. I think we're gonna call it a night, guys. Thanks so much for coming along. I don't know if this was really any different than like our normal vlogs. Uh, I know we touched a little bit more on homeschooling and Maybe a little bit more detailed, but this is kind of like a normal stay at home day. This is what this kind of looks like for us. A lot of times we will have gym. We have that like three days a week. We have Bert is a lot of times running back and forth, you know, being able to take care of jobs and things. Today was just kind of like a stay at home day. Well as a family, kids made dinner and then we just normally wrap up the night. Uh, sometimes we'll, we would watch a show. We always do family movie night on Fridays. Yeah, it was a good day. We hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us. I had fun. We actually got quite a bit done today. It was very productive. Um, again, thank you, Rebecca, for partnering with us on this video. Can't believe it. Um, don't forget, I'll leave the links down below. Thank you guys, and uh, I guess we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye, YouTube channel. <laughs> Leave! <laughs>